Stewart committed to Auburn out of high school, but after a Tigers assistant coach got caught up in the Adidas pay for play scandal, Montgomery decommitted from the Tigers and committed to Kentucky. Uh, just talk about the, the whole Georgia connection. I mean, you and Ashton kind of coming up this way, and I mean, I'm sure Georgia would love to have the two of you there, but just uh, the two of you being here and how you've gotten to know him. Um, I knew Ashton in high school, obviously, but um, he, he told me a long time ago that he wanted to play with me and just, we just got that connection then, came close and just, you know, and I made the decision to come to Kentucky and then he did, I was, I was very happy to play with a guy that I knew. What, what do you like about his game? Um, I, I love that he loves to pass, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because I love to score, but um, yeah, he's very a dog, um, he plays hard on defense, he always go hard. How much is Coach going to let you step out away from the basket? Are you, you going to get any threes up this year? Um, hopefully. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to stay consistent on my three. I've been practicing a little bit, but you know, I just try to do anything he tells me to do. So, you know, I can win. Uh, do, you, do you like the comparisons? To Anthony? You have to like being compared to an Anthony Davis type mm -hmm. player. I mean, what does that do when you hear that kind of thing? Um, it's nice to hear, but you know, I try to stay focused and keep getting better every day. At the same time, you know he took a few shots in the championship game, right? You've yeah. heard that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Are you, is that all right? I mean, if you took the fewest shots and you guys still win a championship? Yes, it's all right because he took the fewest shots and he was number one <laughs> in the draft. So, um, you know, whatever I can do to get better, I can, I'm going to do it. How's uh, is the back? Okay? Yes, I'm back on the court now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, was that just like a thing where you kind of got hit or was it a yes, it was just. pad? The thing that I got hit yeah. and kind of tweaked it, but everything's fine now. How, how big was it for you all to go to the Bahamas and be able to bond as a team before the season gets started and be able to actually get a jump on the competition a little bit, to be able to get together before the season starts? Um, it was very big. We was already pretty close, but that made us even closer. Um, we, we learned how each other played and just they had a lot of fun out there. I was sitting there watching, but I, I learned a lot from sitting there watching the guys too. To see so many fans show up, is, is that when it hits you, like how much these people really, because that's not a cheap trip. <laughs> <laughs> how much these people love you guys? Yes, it hit me then because all those fans that came up there and supported, it was very fun and very, um, very good to see them come out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing you're looking forward most to this season? Um, just going out and competing with the team and playing under Coach Cal. It's going to be a very fun season. I mean, you've seen this team way more than we have. How good can you guys be? Uh, we can be very good, but you know, we got to go out and compete every time we step on the floor, and we got to um, do everything we can. I mean, you've heard the expectations around here; <laughs> they're always high. Mm -hmm. Is that pressure? Do you welcome those high expectations around here? Well, we welcome those high expectations because we put in a lot of work, and we're trying to go out there and prove that we're pretty good. <laughs> What's some of the things Cal's does in practice that you have to hold it because you know you can't laugh sometimes? Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the tone of his voice is funny too. Yeah. What's some things he does that you, that you have to hold it in? Um, just when he like screams, he kind of makes it long. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but you know you can't laugh because he might come at you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you got so many big bigs on your team, but you also got a lot of guards who like, who, like you said, like to pass the ball. Just, what's the chemistry like on the floor with you guys already? Um, it's good chemistry because we're all pretty close. We all have each other's back, and just it's going to be um, fun playing out there with those guys. The, the schedule, I mean, everybody would love to have that one schedule, one that schedule where they have that one team they're like circling. But with you guys, man, yeah. you got a lot of circles on the schedule. <laughs> There's some big games. Yeah. You got to like that. Yes, I love to compete. You know, I love the schedule we have. It's going to be um, very hard, but I'm going to go out there and do it. Is it kind of different nowadays since you guys kind of know each other from all the AAU stuff to kind of know you're going to be playing these guys when they're playing for a different college? Um, it's different, but we're still going to compete because as soon as we step on those lines, the, the friendship kind of goes away to try to win the game. <laughs> Who are you battling with most in practice? Um, against, against. Uh, I'm battling with all the bigs, the different days, Nick, PJ, and Reed. Well, how are they making you better? And you can be kind of specific on each player, what each player makes makes you learn about your game. Um, different players with Reed, I kind of have to try other things because he's more physical. And then with Nick, he's a little bit taller than me, so I have to put my shot a little higher. And just with PJ, he's just, he can do everything. So, you know, I have to come at him in different ways. 
awesome. You get you ready for some different opponents in the season. Yeah. <laughs> How much can you learn from PJ and Reed and all those guys who've already been through just about everything you're about to see? How much do you lean on them? How much can you learn from them? Um, I learn from them every day, especially Reed, because he's been playing college basketball for um, four years. So. Um, <laughs> Everything he te um, tells me in um, practice, I try to listen so I can learn everything he knows. Who's the jokester on this team? Um, definitely Keldon Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> trash talker, too. Right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he was telling us about his trash talking. Mm -hmm. when, he, when he first started, when you first played against whether it was here or an AU circuit or whatever, and mm -hmm. he was talking so much, I mean, what was the whole thing like? Um, I love it, you know, because I love players who compete. I don't do really much talking, but, you know, I just love to compete. Mm -hmm. does, it, does it get under your skin a little bit when he's just constantly just running it like he said? He said? <laughs> no, I just, it's just funny because he never, he's nonstop. He keeps going the whole game. <laughs> did you play other sports growing up? No, I didn't. Just basketball? Just basketball, yeah. And when did you start? Um, I started playing AAU fourth grade, but I've been playing since I was real little.